How y'all doing, Mark here? Y'all know how I do cookbooks, bring information. So real quick, I want to talk about Mendel's Law a little bit. Mendel's Law is the law of segregation, the law of random and independent assortment, uh, or the law of uh, separation during meiosis. Meiosis is where cells divide to form what's called gametes. Gametes are uh, sexually reproductive cells. So uh, in, in you have, uh, in, the, in the first phase of meiosis, you have the condensation and the alignment of the chromosomes. Chromosomes are condensed and they align uh, in, with their homologous pairs. The reason why I want to focus on homologous pairs is chromosomes uh, will not align unless they are homologous. Homologous means they are similar in nature. Chrom chromosomal, chromosomal, they are similar. So they have a chromosomal similarity or else they won't align, they won't pair. Uh, it's important to understand this, right? Because, you know, during during the uh, the process, you have what's called the law of segregation, and what that means is that the uh, the, the the gene the, the the cell the genes separate, right? They separate, and this is the law of segregation. The genes separate, right? And uh, to form a gamete, and again, a gamete is a sexually reproductive cell. So for a male, it will be a, a sperm cell. For a female, the ova, the egg. And so to form the gamete, the gene separates, right? So there's a log segregation. It separates. Once the gamete is fashioned, the gamete gets a, uh, the, the gamete will have a copy of the gene uh, from the parent. Uh, then you have what's called random assortment, which is recombination to form the zygote. The zygote is, we, we all know, is the offspring, uh, the first stages of the offspring. So the genes separate to form the gamete. Uh, the gamete again, sexually reproductive cells for female will be the ova for man. It will be the sperm cell. So the copies of the parent gene is inherited within each gamete, right? Sexually pre reproductive cell. Then during, uh, the law of, uh, random assortment, you have what's called recombination. The recombination of the gametes is where the sex, the, the uh, sperm cell meets the ova, the egg, and they combine, right? That's called the recombination. And the way that the, uh, the genes, the chromosomes are actually combined, it's combined within the zygote, which is the offspring, which grows up to be the child, the adult, etc. It's combined by a law of called random assortment. So the genes, the copies of the genes, the alleles are actually randomly assorted. This is why you never know what you're going to get. Boy, girl, dark skin, light skin, tall, short, whatever, whatever the, 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 uh, the trait is. And... Then we have, again, according to Mendel's law, we have the law of dominance. Now, the law of dominance is interesting because the law of dominance pretty much states that the uh, phenotype, phenotype, let me just qualify phenotype. Phenotype is the visible expression of a gene. I'll say it again. The phenotype is the visible, is the visible expression of that gene. The genotype is the genetic information of the gene. So you have the genotype, you have the phenotype. The phenotype is what we can see, the visible features of the gene. Now, the law of dominance states this. The, the, the zygote, which is the child, which is the offspring, will inherit a trait from, from both parents, right? 23 chromosomes, 23 pairs, excuse me, meaning there's 46. There's a total of 46, 23 pairs. Of each pair, one is from each parent. The child will inherit one of each. What trait is going to be expressed in the phenotype of the child, and I, and I made mention a second ago, the phenotype is a visible physical characteristic features and or expressions of the, of, the, of the gene. So the phenotype is the physical expression of the gene. The gene is the genetic information. The genotype is the genetic information. The phenotype is the expression of that genetic information, if that makes sense. So the interesting thing is, though, the law of dominance, again, this is all uh, Gregor Mendel, Mendel's law, the law of dominance, another law of dominance, is a principle that states that uh, the chromosomes that are, or the gene, or the alleles, which is a form of a gene, that are, uh, that will show up in the phenotype of the offspring, the zygote, will be determined by the dominant gene and the recessive gene. So if my gene is more dominant than my spouse, my, that gene, whatever that gene is responsible for, whether it's the height, the, the, hair, the hair texture, the eye color, the nose, the lips... That gene will show up in the zygote, my offspring, in my child, because my gene was the dominant gene. My other half, my spouse gene, will be, it will be there, but it will be what's called, in terms of the laws of uh, Gregor Mendel's laws, 
and in terms of biology and, and, and uh, genetics, they consider it mask. It's called mask gene. So one gene will be a mask gene. The mask gene is masked by the dominant gene. It doesn't mean it's not there. That's why you can have cancer in your family and they will say it skips a generation. No, it doesn't skip a generation. The cancer is still there. If it's in your family, if it's in your gene, it's there. But what happens is that that the gene that you inherited from your other from let's say your dad and your mom has the cancer gene, your dad's gene masks the cancer gene. So it doesn't mean you don't have cancer in your gene still, in your biology still, but it was masked by your dad's dominant gene because you have the dominant gene and you have the mass gene. The mass gene, aka, is also called the recessive gene. So it's about recessive genes and dominant genes. Again, this is the law of dominance. So the phenotype, and I'll say it again because I know it's going to be a little confusing. The phenotype, which is the physical expressions, features, characteristics that are visible of the genotype. And one more time. The phenotype is a physical, that the visible expression of the genotype. The genotype is the genetic information that's inherited. Now, when a child looks more like one parent than the other, that means that parent genes kick the ass of the other parent. That's what that means. If a child looks predominantly 90%, 95%, like one parent, that means that one parent genes subdued, submitted, dominated, beat the crap out of all of the other parents gene. That one parent is the dominant parent in that union, in that couple. And therefore the zygote, which is the offspring, which is the child, has the phenotype of that one parent. Doesn't mean the other parent genes aren't there. They're just masked. They're recessive. And this is according to Gregor Mendel's and his studies uh, in finding out this information and bringing it to us. And uh, it's interesting because if you look at the, these laws, the laws of segregation, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. I'm tempted to go somewhere, but I'm not because it's very controversial and I don't know if some people will see this video or not. I don't want to, you know, you have to use wisdom, folks. You have to use wisdom in this world and in this life that we lead, especially on the social media stuff. You got to use wisdom. But uh, so, yeah, I just want to share that with you guys a little bit. I've been studying up, researching so your meiosis. Mitosis is the uh, duplication of cells for, for tissue repair. So when you get a cut and you notice that cut will heal in a couple of days or whatever, however long it takes, depending on your genes, the, well, that's a process. Mitosis is responsible for the scab, the healing of that, that uh, not necessarily the scab, but the healing for the skin to actually, because it produces, it duplicates cells to repair tissues. So that's, that's the difference between mitosis, meiosis. Meiosis is the cellular, uh, the, the sexually, the, the repro cell division to, re to, to produce sexually reproductive cells, which are called gametes. That's meiosis. It's the production of gametes, which are sex cells. And mitosis is just duplication of cells to repair bodily harm or bodily tissues, like stem cell. All right? So, I don't know. I've just been researching some of that lately. You know, I just read up on everything. You know what I mean? What? I don't know if I'll ever use this information. Maybe, maybe not. But I'm just a, I'm just a, a seeker of truth. So, genetics, biology, I study it all. Physics, laws of resonance, you know, universal laws photospectroscopy, photobiology. I just like to dig, del del I delve into all this weird shit. You know what I mean? I, I <laughs> Some people call it weird. I don't think it's weird, but I like to study all of this stuff because uh, knowledge is power, information, and uh, it's always good to just, 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 be, just know a little bit more than the average person. You know what I mean? Know a little bit more than what's normal. It's always good to read. All right? Till next time. Peace.